Of all the creatures on the old plantation, one of the smallest and one of the smartest was Br'er Turtle. Now, Br'er Turtle was a calm and quiet creature who always considered things very seriously. When he spoke, he spoke slowly and choosing his words carefully. So it seems all the more surprising when Br'er Turtle got himself into a race against Br'er Rabbit. It all started one day near the pond. Br'er Turtle was just waking up and beginning to emerge from his shell when he noticed something strange in front of him. A very large pink nose and whiskers just outside of his shell. Hello in there, echoed the nose and whiskers. Br'er Turtle thought he was dreaming. I said hello, repeated the nose. Then it laughed. This was no dream. Br'er Turtle slowly stuck out his neck to see what was what. There sat Br'er Rabbit, sitting comfortably on a stone and chewing on a reed. Br'er Turtle should have known. Morning, Br'er Turtle, said Br'er Rabbit. I don't mind saying that you're one of the slowest wakers I've ever met. Br'er Turtle yawned. I may be a slow waker, Br'er Rabbit, but I'm faster than you'll ever be once I get myself going and I have my morning fish. He meant brain-wise, of course, but Br'er Rabbit didn't know what the turtle meant. He didn't realize that Br'er Turtle was talking about fast thinking, so he took his statement as a challenge. So you think you're faster than me, eh? Yup said Br'er Turtle. Always have been, always will be. He was quite proud of his mind. Then I guess you wouldn't mind joining me in a little test, eh? said Br'er Rabbit. Not a bit, said Br'er Turtle. He liked a good quiz. What'll it be? Reading, writing, arithmetic? Br'er Rabbit laughed. You'll need more than that to beat me, Br'er Turtle. He got up, threw down his reed at the turtle's feet. High noon, my house, once around the old plantation, be there. Br'er Turtle realized that he had misunderstood Br'er Rabbit's challenge. Once around the old plantation, what kind of a test is that? He knows he's faster than I am, but I can't let Br'er Rabbit get one up on me, Br'er Turtle thought. I've got to find a way to beat him. Br'er Rabbit was far away and the fastest animal on the old plantation. Br'er Turtle knew that there was no way he could fairly beat him. But then again, there was nothing fair about Br'er Rabbit. So why play fair? After he had his morning fish, Br'er Turtle was thinking much more clearly. He had three sons, each one of the spitting images of his father. Now Br'er Turtle had a plan. Soon it was high noon. Br'er Turtle sent each of his sons to hide in a different spot along the path of the race. Then he met Br'er Rabbit at the starting line. Ready to lose, Br'er Rabbit? Asked Br'er Turtle. The day I lose to you is the day I dance on my ears, sniffed Br'er Rabbit. Br'er Buzzard was the judge. All right, you two, once around the old plantation. On your marks? Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Turtle took their marks. Get set. Br'er Rabbit and Br'er Turtle set their feet. Go! And off they went. Br'er Rabbit um. sped out of sight. Br'er Turtle scurried along as fast as he could for about five feet. Then he began to walk slowly down the path. When Br'er Turtle had rounded the bend and the starting line was out of sight, he doubled back through the woods to wait near the finish line. Br'er Rabbit knew he was way ahead of Br'er Turtle. So when he rounded the curve where a huge oak tree stood, he decided to take a little rest. Br'er Rabbit leaned against the shady trunk and closed his eyes. Mighty nice here in the shade, isn't it? said a familiar voice. Br'er Rabbit opened his eyes. There was Br'er Turtle. Actually, it was Br'er Turtle's eldest son, but Br'er Rabbit thought it was Br'er Turtle. How? What? What? Where? You, said Br'er Rabbit. Well said, said Br'er Turtle's son. Br'er Rabbit was too confused to speak. He got up and took off running even faster than before. But just when he rounded another bend, he tripped and fell ears over heels. 
Br'er Rabbit got up and walked back to see what he'd tripped over. From a distance, it looked like a rock, but as he got closer, he saw that it was no rock. He had tripped over a shell, Br'er Turtle's shell to be exact. Br'er Turtle, actually, it was Br'er Turtle's second son, poked his head out. Have a nice trip, he asked. But I eat you, but back there, said Br'er Rabbit. Couldn't have said it any better, said Br'er Turtle's second son. Hmph, said Br'er Rabbit, speeding off again. Br'er Rabbit was taking no more chances, no rests, no rocks, just a straight line to the finish. For a while, it was smooth running, and Br'er Rabbit was flying down the road at full speed. He felt sure that the race was his. That is, until he rounded the next bend and spotted a small creature ahead. Br'er Rabbit squinted to see what it was. It couldn't possibly be. No. Nevertheless, he turned on the speed, and in a few moments, he was neck to neck with Br'er Turtle again. Br'er Turtle's third son smiled at the rabbit and kept moving. No, this, how, said Br'er Rabbit his eyes wide. I'd love to chat, said Br'er Turtle's third son, but I'm in the middle of a race and gotta go right now. Br'er Rabbit was stunned. He picked up speed, passed the turtle quickly, and headed towards the finish line. Br'er Rabbit rounded the final bend. The finish line was just ahead. Br'er Rabbit looked back to see that Br'er Turtle had dropped out of sight. Br'er Rabbit dug in his heels and headed for home. He was running faster than he had ever run. He was running so fast that when he did cross the finish line moments later, he had to grab a nearby tree to stop himself from running past the spectators. Ha! yelled, panting heavily but dancing with victory. I've won! I've won! What did you win? A slow voice. The race, you fool! I won the ra- Br'er Rabbit stopped cold. There, right in front of him, was Br'er Turtle. I don't know what race you won, said Br'er Turtle, but it wasn't this one. Br'er Rabbit couldn't believe his eyes. Br'er Turtle just looked at him and said, well, go ahead. Go ahead what? asked Br'er Rabbit. Go ahead and dance on your ears, said Br'er Turtle, calling over his three sons. Each one of them was carrying a musical instrument. Br'er Turtle laughed loud and slow. I can't wait to see this, he said. Br'er Rabbit couldn't speak. He had been beaten in more ways than one. He couldn't deny it. So he stood on his head, began moving his ears, and dancing to the music of the turtles. That was the best.